Friday the 13th from Ontario, California. Sean Porter in action against Roberto Garcia on Spike. Good to see you, champ. Always good seeing you. Let's uh, before we go forward. Let's let's go back into the last time we uh, chatted with you. Had the uh, the Kell Brook fight uh, coming up. That didn't go the way you want. Uh, you've had a chance to probably watch the tape. What do you think? Yeah, uh, did not go the way I wanted. Uh, understood that I didn't do everything that I needed and wanted to do in the fight. Such as um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, you know, um, there was some holding being been going on in the ring, but you know, I didn't do enough to stop that. I didn't do enough on my on my side to um, you know make that fight decisive that I had wanted so um, you know taking a back look at the fight and you know even in the moment I didn't feel like I lost the fight I still don't but there's one in my in my lost column now and I have to move on from that I have um, you know that fight was in August and uh, that was a long time ago uh, six months someone brought up to my mind to my attention I didn't even know it yeah, seemed longer than that long so either. yeah it seemed longer than that so I've moved forward and uh, I'm excited about next week and, and you know it just back on that though for him I think he was a lot better and I'm not talking about than you thought but a lot of people had never seen him you know in this country he's a pretty damn good fighter isn't he? he was he was uh he was he was better he did what he, he did what he needed to do he, he got the job done that night and you know uh we get a chance at him again we'll go at go at him and and, and rock his world well right now you're gonna uh, rock the world in uh in Ontario Friday the 13th Roberto Garcia what do you know about him I know he's a, a tall rangy guy he he's you know what He's taller than I am, but he's not really rangy. Everybody's the... taller than us. <laughs> My daughter's yeah, taller than us. We can't help it. We can't <laughs> help it. So we, we use what we have, and, and uh, I like to think that I use my height and my, and my reach and my speed and quickness and power exceptionally well. Uh, I, I know that he won't be able to hit me from the outside, and uh, I look forward to boxing circles around him and then putting, pinning him up in some corners and digging his body as well. So this should be a good fight. Do you ever think about... When you're you're down low like you are, accentuating even being short. Angelo Dundee used to always say, "If you're short, be shorter." Do you ever? You guys ever talk about that? That that was uh, a kind of a rule, you know. Since almost since day one, when we we realized that, uh, I guess he realized that, you know, <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so I needed to, you know, use my height to my advantage, stay low as much as possible, and uh, wear these guys down. So that that is a that's in the arsenal. That's a part of our game plan, and we'll, we'll use that, um, you know, when it when it fits in the fight. Because you know, Joe Frazier, the late great Joe Frazier, told me that it's a lot easier to punch up than it is to punch down. I've I've noticed that a lot of the guys I've actually fought. I've, be guys that were six foot. I be guys that were six five. You know, and uh, that I think that just there was too much of a, a adjustment that they needed to make. And when you you know compact, you know me being short along with me being quick and fast, there's a lot of adjustments that need to be made. And you know this is boxing. This is not um, you know everyone describes it as chess. It's fast chess. You know, so can you keep up? Roberto Garcia won't be able to keep up. Yeah, and it's also, this game is all, all about, I mean, mentally is so much, in my opinion, more important. All you guys are good, you know, but mentally, and at the end of the day, it's all about that. What are the things, though, that you're really working on to try to improve yourself as a fighter? That fundamentally, what are the things you're working on? I, I think there's, the, like you, you just hit it on the nail, there's a lot of things that can happen to separate one good fighter from another good fighter and make him great. You know, I think along with working hard, in and out of the ring, in the gym, on the tracks, swimming all that kind of stuff um on the more technical side of it we come to the gym every day and we're making sure that the hands are up that the punches are straight that they're not looping that they're not coming from the waist that they're being thrown the right way i mean just the little things that once you get good you think you don't need to pay attention to my dad is in my corner he's still paying attention to all that and expecting all that to be great this uh, back to uh, Garcia. Uh, have you watched much tape on him? What do you think of him as a fighter? I've watched a lot of tape on him. I think he's a uh, a strong fighter. I think he's he's uh, he's very very powerful, and uh, he's very aggressive. Uh, I don't think that he's on my level. And uh, you know, along with looking good, we want to prove that you know he shouldn't be in the ring with me. So I understand that going into the into the fight, I just got to do everything that it takes to you know make that known to the public eye. Where do you see Sean Porter in the whole landscape of the uh, the Buck 47 uh, division? Well, you know what? Uh, a lot of big fights coming up, and I think that, you know, obviously withholding a belt recently, the IBF title, I'm, wor I'm, a, I'm a worthy contender of even Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, you know. So I think that I have what it takes to fight with the best, and I look forward to proving that real soon. All right, so uh, look into that camera. Tell the folks what's going to happen on Spike on Friday the 13th. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spike TV, Friday night, 
Friday the 13th in Ontario, California at the Citizen Bank Arena. You got Showtime Sean Porter against Roberto Garcia. You guys tune in or come on out and support it. Then, and then we get together in the gym, right? Yes, sir. We, we, We've we, been we, talking about this we'll too get long. Together I know in the your gym. daddy's been calling me out. Well, you know what? We're, we're looking to open up our own gym real soon. So hopefully we get that done and we can get you in our place. That way you're, you're, you're comfortable and, you know, we get to hit on you and, you know. And you know, I float like a butterfly and sting I've like heard, a bee. Your hands I've can't heard. hit what your eyes can't I've see. Heard. Now you see me, now you don't. Porter, you think you will, but I know you won't. You know what? I need some rhymes. <laughs> I need some rhymes for this guy. Uh. Uh, I got nothing for you, man. Just, just, just show it next week yeah, on Spike. That's it. That's right. it. That's what I do. I don't. I do my talking inside the room with my hands. How about that? And forget about what I said when we get in there. Anyway, so. <laughs>